Hi everyone, I am Cemal Bulunmaz and that's Bengal Master CNC machine. And you are here on Bulunmaz Tools YouTube channel to learn more about the latest jewelry technologies. I will introduce you today how to make hollow rings. You will watch all the process from idea up to the final product. Some people prefer to make their designs directly on the computer, but I'm not one of those. I usually make my drawings on the paper first. I, I mostly spend a lot of time thinking about it. Actually, I need to think several hours before I make a 5-10 minutes design. Then I finish my design on the paper, then go to the next, uh, next uh, process on the computer design. In our CNC machines, we mostly use 2D, two-dimensional uh, designs. That's why you don't need to design your, your works like a 3D design. That's why, uh, as on Bengal Master I will work on a ring, I, I don't make a design on a round shape, but I make my 2D, two-dimensional design on an open form, such as a rectangular. That's why when I start my designs, I always start with a rectangular base I do it by hand and then I start making my design on the rectangular base after completing the rectangular base which I will use uh, to make my hand design I'm starting uh, whatever in my mind I will use today some some Eastern Middle Eastern motifs I'm from Turkey or Mediterranean area. As I told you, I use usually several hours before starting my design. I just watch around, I just look at some figures on the internet. Then I usually take a shorter time to make the hand drawing. My design is ready, I really enjoyed it. As I told you, it took pretty fast. Uh, as I have the things in my mind, but you don't have to make the drawing uh, on paper. You can directly work on the computer Actually most of our clients uh, use directly computer design So now uh, all I need to do is uh, scan my hand drawing then take to the computer the design software and Make the computer design on the on my hand drawing Here I am on my computer. I made the same rectangular here so now I will uh, scan, I usually scan my hand drawing, then take it here, then repeat on the lines. I will post, uh, pass this process because it takes pretty much time. Uh, the drawing is, uh, it takes a little bit long on the computer. But when you make the first part, you can just copy one by one. I just completed my drawing. Uh, I'm using AutoCAD. It's a pretty popular software which is used by architects mostly. It's a great 2D design software. You can find it everywhere. You can find schools for AutoCAD everywhere. But you can use plenty of other software such as JewelCAD, Matrix, whatever you want ArtCAD. So now I will put my drawing to computer, to my CNC machine and go to the next, uh, next step. I exported my design to Bengal Master CNC machine into the controller software. So all I need to do is make the necessary settings here, then start the process. Here is a hollow ring system which we recently developed uh, against the increasing gold prices, as you know. So that's my first sample. And the other sample is the solid sample. That's my the other sample. I will work in buff, uh, buff rings and so you can see the weight difference uh, between the rings. That's the solid ring. That's about 5 grams. So I will start with the solid ring and let's see what the weight of final product will be. I fixed my solid ring. All the settings are done. The speed, the uh, how many millimeters go into the ring and all the zero, the ring. All ready so I can just start the operation. The 
that ring will be take approximately four minutes, four minutes when completed the process. The ring is ready, so let's see how it looks like. Here we go. That's uh, below 4.5 gram. Uh, later we will check on the scale what the final result of the rings. It looks pretty fine. It's solid as you know. So let's go with the hollow the next step. Here is the second stage, my hollow ring. I made uh, two parts, inside and outside part. So there are different ways to make uh, this inside and out outside part. You can use, uh, depending on your technology, depending on your machinery, you can use uh, several different ways. You just consider your machinery. Then uh, after making my diamond cuts, I will just connect the pieces and finish my ring. Mm -hmm. My hollow ring is ready, I just set on Bengal Master, it's ready to work. I will use exactly the same model in, uh, in the hollow ring. The process time will be exactly the same, but the weight of the ring, the final product will be much less of course. It's going well, the ring is uh, on process. So we are using on our <coughs> machines 2.8 kilowatts heavy duty spindle with a 50,000 RPM speed. It gives the best result on the ring door bangle. The hollow ring is ready. So now just one process left just to connect the inside and outside parts of the hollow ring and uh, fix them and finish the ring. Let's see how it looks like. My hollow ring is ready. Uh, it's processed uh, with the model I draw on Bengal Master. So now all I need to do is connect this inside part and uh, finish the ring. I'm just connecting them by hand, of course, but still it's moving, so it's not ready to be sold. And the final process will be in a ring and larger machine. I don't need brazing, I don't need soldering at all. That's a very important point because it makes the production much, much faster. Let's go to the next machine. So you have to manually, with a ring and larger machine, you have to fix your ring so it will be done. I will show you a little trick. When you are using the ring and larger machine, you can just stop the process on the half. Just don't finish the ring, uh, don't stretch till the end. And you will see a little magic. As you have seen, my ring, the upper part didn't uh, sit on the down part yet. So it's moving. But it's stretch enough not to go out. You know, you cannot take it out even you use force. But it's not stretch enough to be pulled. So what happens? It's just turning. And see what happened. I have a turning ring. It's hollow, so it's very light. It's a turning ring you can sell as a final product. But today I want to make a finished uh, hollow ring, not a turning one, a fixed one. So I will continue the process with my uh, ring enlarging machine. Since it's done, it's fixed. So I have a finished uh, hollow ring in my hand. It's fixed and it's, it looks as strong as a solid one. 
I inform you once again, you don't need any soldering on this ring. Just all this mechanical process was enough to make this ring to be ready to be sold. Here I have in my hand two rings. One is hollow, one is solid. The models are totally same. The looking is totally same. When you show someone if they don't feel the weight, they would they couldn't say which is solid, which is hollow. So let's go and check how much how many gram each of our rings weight and we see the difference. We see how many grams of gold we we say. Here you see my solid ring, it's 4.34 gram, the ring I was working. And here I go with my hollow ring, let's see how many grams it will weigh. Here you see 2.81, 2.80, let's say nearly half of the solid ring, that's pretty much different. I'm sure our customers will love it, it will be much easier to sell our product. Another trick is that you see my hollow ring on the left side. As you have seen, it looks much bigger than the solid ring. You can of course adjust the thickness, but anyway, it looks bigger. You see that big difference between the hollow and solid rings. It was nearly half of the solid, the hollow one. So I hope you liked our demonstration. I hope you liked our product. Keep watching us for new jewelry ideas all the time. You can always follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook on the username Bulunmas Tools or you can always have a visit our website bulunmas.com. Thank you so much for watching us.